Hey what's up and welcome to the player analysis series on the channel. If you're new around here, we analyze one footballer and analyze their early career, tactical profile and have a look at their key stats. Also be sure to watch until the end of the video for a fun fact on the player. And for today's video I chose a young winger who shows a lot of promise for the future. Maybe you've heard of him? Today we're going to talk about Irving El Chucky Lozano. Irving Lozano was born on July the 30th of 1995 in Mexico City. Shout out to anybody from Mexico who is currently watching the video. Irving Lozano began his professional career in 2014 with Pachuca in the Liga MX. It was apparent from a young age though that he had a lot of talent and it wasn't long before European clubs started to scout him in order for his services. Then, in June of 2017, he signed for Dutch side PSV Eindhoven, and in only his first season, he went on to win the league title, while also being the top scorer for the club. As time progressed, he only improved, and in 2019, Lozano signed for Italian league side Napoli for a reported 42 million euros, which made him the most expensive Mexican player of all time. Many would consider Lozano as Mexico's best attacking threat at the moment. And once you have a look at his stats, it's definitely easy to see why. During his time in the Mexican League with Pachuca, he scored 44 goals and 28 assists in 152 appearances. Once he opted to ply his skills in the Dutch League, moving on into Europe, he still stayed very consistent and scored 40 goals and 23 assists in half the time. 74 appearances in the Dutch League. Very impressive and also worth noting that he is very consistent not only with his goals but also his assists being able to help his teammates with very excellent passes and crosses into dangerous areas. Then in 2019, once he moved into the Italian league, going into one of the top five leagues I would say in the world, joining Napoli, he has played in 23 games and scored three goals and two assists. Definitely a drop off once he has joined the Italian league and there is a reason for this. So after excelling in the Mexican league and then making a big European move to play with the Dutch league, it seems like Lozano has hit a ceiling once he joined the Italian league side and it is obvious to see based on our chart here. His appearances and goals and assists have all dropped significantly ever since he switched over in 2019. The Mexican player is definitely a player prized by some of the world's biggest clubs. But once Carlo Ancelotti left Napoli, Lozano found it really hard to find playing time. And the reason is because Gattuso tends to favor Jose Callejon on Lozano's preferred left wing. This has come to be quite the frustration because Lozano seemed to be getting better season by season only to be halted in probably one of the most important times of his career. I would argue that Gattuso definitely knows that Lozano has plenty of skill and talent but it seems to me like the new coach wants to see a work ethic or a dedication to the game that he apparently does not see in the young Mexican forward still. Maybe he does just need some time in order to prove himself to the new coach. I would say just to keep working hard and maybe he will eventually get his starting place back as he has been for the last couple of years. He's still very young at just the age of 24 so he still has a lot of playing years ahead of him but I would definitely say that it is important for him to start getting regular playing time soon in order to keep improving and become arguably one of the best Mexican players of his generation. And as always we will end our analysis video with a fun fact of the player. Do you know why Lozano got the nickname El Chucky? Turns out it was because during his youth career, he would hide under his teammates' beds in order to scare them. Quite the prankster by the looks of it, and I would definitely say that he is well deserved of that nickname. Thank you so much for making it until the end of the video. Be sure to give us a like if you enjoyed our series and check out our other player analysis videos in our playlist. Don't see your favorite player in there? Well, drop their name in a comment below as I do make videos for popular requests. Subscribe to not miss out on our future videos, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.